Previously on Ox and Not Included Adventures, let's go ahead and get this thing calculated. Get all the calculations going. Um, so we had a couple of uh, just like small issues we were kind of squashing. We got some food up, got some uh, pitch pepper nut. We got some uh, sleep weed over here, which is doing okay. Oh, he's working on that already. Oh, they're mopping it up. Okay, good. You can stop doing that and just get that thing, uh, get that thing done. So we did run into kind of an issue at the last second or so, uh, where we noticed that we had uh, some depleting liquid down here, and it's that wasn't a, that hasn't been a problem for, like in forever. Uh, so hey, have a good way, Anna. Yeah, these episodes, the today's stream will be chopped up and posted next week. So trying to keep I'm trying to keep these things like one to two weeks uh, ahead that way it's not like a huge gap both in both in episodes and of course in my like you know in my memory of the game <laughs> uh, playing it once a week on this save is also is brutal enough god damn it <clears throat> let's see so um, first off this thing's about to melt down uh, it's at 254 degrees and it has an overheat temperature of 3, 347 degrees. So it's gonna get hotter uh, as they continue to operate. And so what I wanted to do is figure out a way to get through some of the steam. And get, once I convert that steam into liquid, into water form, then we should raise this water back up and it'll keep these aqua tuners uh, cool. Alternatively, if I'm, in a, if, if I'm in a real ocean situation, I could just basically move these things down here and then just have them in a row. That way they're still submerged. But this is a lot of water. Like, look. 228 tons of water um like steam sorry uh per tile 230 231 like this is dense and so i need to figure out the best way to cool this stuff um so it can convert back down into uh into water and so oh hey inferno we were just talking about you <laughs> We talk about the Go XLR. <laughs> I won't recap it, but because because uh, I'm gonna go over it more in depth later. But thank you again. Um, so yeah, this is a lot of steam, and we have to take care of it. So there's a couple ways we can do this. First off, we have an excess of power still, right? We have natural gas building up all over the place. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. So we have natural gas building up here. We have natural gas building up here. There's like four tons per or four uh, four thousand. Um, well, what's four tons basically uh, uh, per you know, per uh, tile. And we have more being generated down here. Uh, we have tons of petroleum. We have an endless supply of petroleum, even though our problem repress is basically working overtime. So we, we just have a lot of stuff everywhere, like, like power wise. We just have a lot, a lot of options. So it don't, probably won't hurt to go ahead and run these thermo aqua tuners more. Now, why would I want to run, run them more? Because what I'm thinking of doing is the water that comes out of here is 97.21 degrees, which is pretty chill. Now, it's not really moving through here that quickly, right? So what I was thinking is take another pipe uh, and raise it up here and then just drip it over top of... Oh, they took care of that tile finally. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what was that? Uh, and just just drip it, just bloop, 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 and just let it drip all the way down. And as it as it moves, it will cool the steam around it and convert it into liquid. It should. And so, let's try it. <laughs> let's fucking try it. We could, we could, I guess we could also like, just make a couple like standard or radiating pipes or whatever and just have it drip back down. But I mean, I think just having a drip would look more visually satisfying personally. So let's go ahead and uh, also put yeah, 100 degree water, pretty chill. <laughs> so I think it will probably just go like, maybe just right here, or let me see. If I go over here, it'll actually, oops, uh oh. If I go up over here, it will, let me see, actually kind of like ricochet. So boom, and then boom, and then fall down, and then we could maybe, yeah, we'll just fall straight down from there. So that way we can keep a, and actually, you know, it's funny, uh, the way it's going to fall from that point, it's actually going to cool down the thermal aqua to the gold ones, because there's two gold here and two steel on this side. I don't have to worry about the steel melting down anytime soon, but the gold ones, absolutely, they will. So it'll also cool those at the same time. Are we making a giant still? Uh, wait, what do you mean? You mean uh, the daily screenshot thing or whatever? What are you talking about? Another to remove from the water, just a big boiler. Yeah, we're just going to... I mean, kind of look at even this thing. Oh, they keep fixing this thing. Don't, uh, just auto repair. It's made of igneous rock. Oh, the pump's made of igneous rock. But we'll let that thing chill for now. Oh, chill. We'll let that thing sit there for now. 
Didn't you need a flow limiter on that line? Um, I mean, I could flow limit it going up if I wanted to. But right now, I mean, the way it's chugging, like one at a time, it's not really a heat issue. So I could afford, you know, more more flow through on this, I think. Although, you know, yeah, I think the drains, I might run into a problem with the drains. But let's just, let's just go. Let's just build the damn thing and then we'll see what happens. I think that's probably the best, uh, the best way to tackle this. <laughs> let's just fucking do it and see what happens. What was that? Oh, is a pitch of pepper nut up here? Oh, it's up here. It's going through the ground. What the hell? <laughs> Cool. All right, so we'll get that thing built. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Uh, this thing's probably gonna be taken down, but if I take it down right now, they won't be able to uh, use that as a step. So we'll just go leave it there for now. Hmm. Booze, still what? Booze, 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 booze. Don't know what you guys talk about. Where's my dudes at? Oh, they're sleeping? Oh, they're sleeping. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. <sighs> this nonsense over here. Oh, speaking of, do I have any uh, eggs to uh, to put in there? Let's turn the volume up a little bit. Oh, I have a sun nymph. Ooh, a soft light in hopes of attracting more of this. A light from the sun morph has been turned orange. Interesting. I've never seen one of these. There's tons of eggs though. Wow, they're all incubating on their own. <laughs> this is such a dumb setup. Our uh, Bristle Blossoms are doing great. I think, I mean, I haven't seen anybody sneezing, so I'm thinking people are probably fine in terms of, uh, I mean, in terms of allergies. Oh, st oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Booze still, okay. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Spice, for, for pointing that out. Yeah, the photographer brain thinking of the photo kind of still, not the distillery kind of still. Yes. Yes. Um, well, I don't know how to build one of those, uh, how those function in real life. I have absolutely no idea. So, <laughs> I'm not a brewery nerd, so I have no idea how that works. But I can tell you how a photographer still works, how photography still works. <gasps> it's just a picture. <laughs> it's not very exciting. All right. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Like, fucking now. Let's do this. They're working on it. Let's speed things up. But not this though. This is this is now it's complete. That could be like a one or something. That's what I'm talking about. Get everybody involved. Now this is gonna drop a lot of water super fast, so I'm hoping that we see just like just huge drops of steam converting into liquid here very shortly here. Uh your shock mount is here and the structures for the installation are in Chinese. You you put the microphone inside of it. <laughs> That's all you do, Sam. <laughs> you take the microphone, yeah, yeah, and uh, you squeeze, you squeeze. You probably have two little pincher pinchers here. You squeeze that, and then you can just slide that microphone in, and then let go, and they'll just kind of grip it. They'll grip it. Uh oh, we have no power anywhere. I just said that we had power. Why are we losing power? Why are we losing power? Are these things not? These things are not kicking kicking on. But oh, this is it actually moving? Oh, it is. Okay. God, I think we have to lower that some more. Let's make it like a hundred seconds. I think our time scale for how we're setting up um, triggering different tiers is not quite working. Whoa, this fucking hot heat damage. Where? This? How hot is it over here? God damn, this whole area is just starting to just bleed. Oh, you know what? Probably doesn't help that we have manual airlocks here. We should probably deconstruct these and replace them with uh, the insulated ones that we have. I'll do that one at a time, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you for... Who did, who, did somebody get that? Or the Auto, Autobot did that. Want to become famous, bitch? i seen what the internet does to famous people. Fuck off. Dog, how am I still, how am I still not have fucking power? What is the deal here? This thing keeps resetting. I'm about to drop this shit down to one. <laughs> Just fuck it. Just keep it on. Wow. Boom, baby. There. Yeah, I think my tiered system here is not quite operating as quickly as I would, as quickly as it needs to in order to scale up for production for for power needs. So, hmm. 
Really good TV! <laughs> you are famous, man. Oh wait, no, that's 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 real good news, isn't it? Never mind. No, never mind. Um but but I appreciate the the support for 12, 12 months. <laughs> Based on an entire year now. Alright, here it goes. Now it's pumping. So we should see uh so it was at 221, it was at 231 up here before, so we should start to see this number drop slowly. Uh god mother why is the fucking power keep going out? That is gonna drive me nuts. All look at all, everything here is shut off. Now they're kicking on. Yeah, I just think that they just they're not kicking on in time to support the uh the ramp up and power that's needed. So let's lower that thing considerably across the board. Oh god, all of them. <laughs> Let's see, 45 seconds. Man, 60 seconds. I guess that's just too long. The things are kicking on, and because we have such huge power draws now, like, they're they're killing these batteries super fast before they kick on, so... Um, I'm, I'm not gonna redo all this shit again, uh, even though I know that it could be done better. I'm not gonna do that, so please spare me! With the whole tiered system and all that shit, we're just gonna lower the stuff. It'll be fine. I'll just do 10s and 20s. Let me see. Come on. We'll do uh, a 10 on this one as well. Clearly I'm gonna get these things ramped up quick. A 20. It's just not kicking off fast enough. And then this extra bay here will be 10 because that'll kick on 10 seconds after and this will be 30. I was just writing, but I know, I know, I know. Some of you guys fucking broken record. <laughs> you know, if you do, yes, I know. <laughs> That's an entire week's worth of fucking programming, damn it. All right. It's just more it's more work than I want to do. If it works, it works. That's how I, that's what I want to operate. Pass mic is sufficient. That's right. Got you guys. That's so funny. <laughs> I feel called out. Yeah, look, so now it's, it's working. It's uh the steam is slowly starting to uh uh, to break down a little bit here, so. And let's go ahead and break down this door, because this is obviously just leaking out steam. So all the steam's coming out, all the heat's coming out. This is all going to convert, which is fine, but like this thing's made of iron ore. Of course it's made of iron ore. What's it full of? Salt water. Is there salt water down there? There is. You know what? Let's just fuck this thing. <laughs> just fucking take it apart. There's not even an output on it. It's just basically there to dump, to dump liquid in. Overheat damage. Is that iron as well? as aluminum ore. Oof, man. They're never gonna get around to this. I feel like I need to start following my dupes around. Because they're not, uh... What is that? What is that one? Oh, it's the switch. I was like, why is that thing still going? Keep me in a heightened state. Deconstruct. Get rid of this fucking door. We're gonna attach a power... Uh... A power insulated door there. Keep that thing... Nice and tight. Uh, build that shit fucking fast. Wait, was that a power one that I picked up? Oh, that was a regular one. Let me see. Mechanized. Da -da -da -da. Granite? Sure. And gold? Lead? Not lead. <laughs> Copper. Copper sounds good. Go door there. We're gonna need power for that. Just gonna get the power going. The work on that. Conductive. And then, uh, should we go two? Nah, just the one. Just one. This should be fine. Ah, uh, you missed the good old days? You used to play APB Reload? Yeah, that was a long ass time ago. <laughs> it was. I think it was like almost 10 years ago now. Jesus. I miss those days too. For the whole world. <laughs> 2020 sucks compared to 2010. Jesus Christ. Oxalate. Shout out to some Oxalate. I'm not going to worry about this. I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to worry about it. Actually, I do want to look at it real quick. What is the temperature in here? Negative 126 and getting colder. Temp shift plate is indeed getting colder. Cool. So this is going to continue to get colder. That room's going to be fucking cold. I had a thought. I had a dream. <laughs> like actually, like an actual, like, you know, like, like a, I was dreaming about oxygen not included and shit I could do, which is weird. Um, and one thought that I had was we've already got a setup here. And I was thinking, what if, what if I just open this up and just seal this off and just let this become part of this setup, right? 
Because this gets on a negative 67. Oh, you know what? I guess I didn't think about that. That's a little too... Hmm. Uh, I don't know which map, which it's a, it's a mod map or a add-on map or whatever. I can't remember what it's called though. Too cold. Yeah, never mind. Stupid brain. What are you thinking? Is this converting? Still running out of power. We're just draining, we're draining these batteries so fast. So doors open because it senses oxygen. So it's waiting to pump some of the oxygen down here. Which is not really working because the liquid keeps coming out. So that's that's pretty much a failed uh, uh, operation there. So we'll just go ahead and wish we make it. What is the sense right now? Does it tell you what it's sensing? I guess oxygen because it's highlighted. Okay, yeah. So let's talk oxygen. Oh, did I cut the wire for this? No. I mean, if it's 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 got to one or the other, like it's if it's if it's like I mean, brain signal open. It's set to open. It's all connected. Does it sense? You know what? I wonder if it's special because it's under. It's like covered in water. I wonder if that's a problem. Oh my god, this is annoying. Let's just go ahead and uh, get rid of that, then we'll manually tell the door to close. I'm not going to try to automate that thing. There we go. And shut off the hydrogen to the ATN. Yeah, that's that's possible. Just to keep this space nice and cold. It requires more though, like I'm going to have to uh, make some changes to the, to the overall layout, so that way I can squeeze a couple of robo miners in there to just like grab the stuff and, and push it out, you know? Like get it fed, grab the stuff, push it out, like that kind of thing. Uh, but I don't, I mean, do I have to? I don't have to do that. No, I don't really have to do that. I just gotta make enough room for the dupes to get in and out without necessarily letting out all the cold. That's a, that's a not a me right now thing. Are you dreaming of it too? Yeah. No, it's true. Especially after I play it for like extended periods of time, I totally just like... Every... Like Animal Crossing is the same way. Oh, look at this. So we are, we are running into some, some limitations here with the uh... With uh, the drains, <laughs> of course. Probably steal some from over here. Just connect it real quick. It's fine. And then they shut off, and then they kick back on. Now it's just gonna slowly. It's, uh, it's it's actually down. It's it's down quite a bit. So I guess we'll just let it keep going until it slowly gets through all this. Kind of cuts through some of that density there. The thing is, I don't know about putting a thermo aqua tuner, or, or uh, a thermo regulator or whatever. What the fuck is it called? I can never remember the name of this dumb thing. Oh, it is called thermoregulator. Uh, I, can, <laughs> I, I just don't know about putting a thermoregulator in there because when you cool steam, it turns into water. And so like, the, I feel like the second I hook all that shit up, it's going to instantly just like bust pipes or bust ventilation because it's going to be full of water, you know? So I, I don't really see that as a viable option because I don't know, because I've never messed with that. So I don't know what the solution there is, you know? So, yep. Yeah. It's in liquid because of the corner? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, see, look at that. Now it reads green. Yep, okay, so that was just bad placement of that. I was only there just to get rid of this, but it's not going to happen as long as these guys are still pumping out liquid, so... Uh, I'm just going to leave that alone. <laughs> For now. <clears throat> Looks like we probably get some of this under control, heat-wise. Put in a sauna. It's not a bad idea, but I need that water. <laughs> This is like my sole source of water right now. I should take this water and pump it in there, actually. Yeah. Dude, this ar it's already here. Yeah, it's already here. The salt water would be a problem. I'd have to go through here. <clears throat> so I have this bridge here, but I would have to, you know, cut the bridge and let it let it continue to go through this system here. Why did I turn that off? I wonder. Let's deconstruct this. Probably wanted an easy bypass. So they'll deconstruct that. The liquid should start flowing through here. 
The only thing that should be coming out is... Oh, it's disabled. Oh, shit. <laughs> the only thing that should be coming out of here is what? Salt water. Good. That's what I want to see. Salt water. No salt water in my stuff. So this over here we can turn back on. And we'll allow this thing to just to pump all this water because this water's not doing anything down here except for just flooding my shit. And then let that pump it into here. So this, there we go. We have two different sources of water now. Um, by contributing cool water to this space, you know? Because right now it's just so hot in here. I guess I should have known that eventually the steam would win. I was relying on just the natural progression of steam. Comes out, cools, turns the water, etc. Uh, I should have known, I should have thought ahead of time that yeah, like, eventually the steam's going to win. <laughs> eventually. Uh, where's the pee water gonna go if it goes online? There's a, there's a sieve. There's a sieve up there. So it's gonna go up into, uh, into here. It's gonna get filtered into the sieve. And the sieve's gonna take care of it. Actually, you know what? It's gonna go into, uh, it's gonna go into our food uh, sources here. First, looks like. Let's get rid of that one little pipe. Is it splitting both ways? No, okay, that's refeeding it. Okay, cool. Hey, here comes some more shit. Sweet. Temperature of this. Negative 53.3. Cool, that's still cooling. Awesome. This is like, this is like deep. Like negative 57. Yeah, negative 77. That's, that's max. Oh, the Wii's warp max is that. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we have more water coming in. Cool, that's gonna eventually correct itself. These things are getting hot. 250 degrees. Oh, it was so, it was pretty, pretty good amount away from melting point. So I think we're fine. Okay. Ah, oh, the food, the food. So what's the problem? Body temperature just too, too hot by a half a degree. By a half a degree. The max low temp of a war is 77 degrees. Negative 77 degrees. I don't know what the high, high temp is. Let me see. High temp is uh, 203 degrees. Wow. Fahrenheit. 95 degrees Celsius. Yeah, wow. God, these things are so needy, dude. Like, I just need to drop it just a little bit more. What is the temperature? 41. These things will grow in negative what? Negative 67. So the ice temp shift plates kind of did not work. You know? <clears throat> they kind of did not work because... Hmm, the water's being held up here. Because they melted right away. But I do wonder if I were to seal this off and then just get a whole bunch of ice together, like store a bunch of ice in here, and then just nail it with a whole bunch of temp shift plates if it would maintain that temperature. I'm, I am I feel like it would, but we'd have to seal this room off though first. So let's see. We'll go ahead and just do this then. Okay, hold on. Make it out of... Uh, Obsidian. Let's see. Thermal reactive sedimentary rock. Which one do you have the most? Which one's the easiest to get to? Actually, we know we have a ton of igneous rock floating around that we were trying to get rid of. Ah, uh, this is obsidian. No, I'm sorry. It's been a sedimentary rock. So this will get the sealed off here. And then we should probably kill this, or at least maybe bring this across here just to kind of flesh that out there. That'll give us room for <laughs> something. Uh, and then we'll put a door here. There's a power line right next to it, so we'll put a small, insulated, mechanized lock here. Locking door. That way they can, uh, whoops, okay, they're already done. So fast. That way we keep this area about as locked down as we possibly can. How many more seeds do I have? On what, warts? Um, let me see, seed, wart seed. I have five more. I could build another one of those, uh, rooms, one of these. I have the blueprint for it. I can just build another one real quick. But I don't know if I necessarily need that level of of cold, you know? All right, so they're getting this built. Nice. Good, 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 good. And I think, I think we should start transferring some ice here. You know, in my other save, I have a whole core full of ice. <laughs> Not lava. Dang it. So I think we'll have to go over here and start beating up some ice here. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna tear this up. 
So let's see. Uh, 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 uh. What is this? Ice too? Yep, it's growing. Uh, I'll take care of that. What is this? More ice. Uh, ice, ice. Ice, ice, ice. More ice. This is a good amount of ice, actually, already. Polluted ice. Nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Polluted ice. So much polluted ice. Polluted, oh, God, there's tons of polluted ice. Maybe it's easier to look at this from the... Uh, give it a second here. Here we go. So what color is regular ice? Oh, it's like a nice, uh, nice deep blue. Cool. Actually, I missed a couple. Very satisfying sound. There you go. Oh, they're working on it already. Look at them go. So this is a good amount of ice actually we're already picking up here. I don't know if I necessarily want to go and rob this one of it. This area up here seems pretty, uh, I don't necessarily want to just jump in there and start tearing it apart yet. So there's, uh, there's a good amount of ice in here. We can actually go over here and step down if we need more. But I think what we'll do is, uh, right now they're, they're grabbing some, they're taking it over to here. Yep, they're gonna drop it off in there. So wait for this to get full and then we'll start, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start clobbering this thing with about as much ice as we can. You know, you know, the other thing I didn't think about is if I open this up a little bit, if I open this up, uh, so to, to allow this to get in here, uh, this coldness to get in here, I'm also inviting all of that hydrogen and there's a lot of hydrogen here. Like this is going to be an uncontrollable amount of hydrogen if I try to take this and put it in here. Uh, and these things do not like hydrogen, so that's not going to happen. Irrigation is a problem now. You know, it's just because it's because of this damn water. This damn 50 degree water. I, I set this up so that way we're not uh, inundating the system, right, with like hot water. But I have a feeling that we could probably, once we get the ice plates put in, that we could probably go and allow allow it to come through. The ice plates are only going to be as cold. Oh, you know what? The ice plates are going to, uh, maybe they'll balance themselves out. Well, we'll see. But right now, these things are just chilling, like right above, you know, their threshold. 42, yeah. They just need a little bit of a kick. Do you think the ice is a melt during transport? Uh, yeah, I wonder if that's a thing. I don't know. This is so much more complex than Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, you know, I've not played that, but I, I I would have to assume probably that's probably the case. Let me see. Utilities, temp shift plates. I wonder how many of these I could put down. We'll make it a one here. Ice. Oh, cool. Actually, if we get one more, um, well, I'll only be able to put down nine. So there we go. So that's, that's nine. It's not a lot. You could stagger it though. Uh, 10, or 10, 11. Almost close to 12. I feel, I have a feeling there's a lot more ice laying over there. Let's look at our, let's see, liquefiable. We have 9.5 tons. Okay, so we're actually, we actually just about got all of it. Is the water getting cool by the age? It is getting cool, but it doesn't get cooled enough, which is that's part of the reason why these things are not cooling. Because even though it's insulated pipe, it still is transferring that energy, and so it is still keeping the area a little bit warm, right? It's definitely not cooling the area, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, that's why I think putting some ice temperature plates back here would uh, would help fix some of these problems that we're having. And I'm hoping it stays. Like I'm hoping they stay up. That's the biggest problem is that we can set all this stuff up and then it's gonna fall apart, right? So let's see, how do we want to do this? Um, I mean, they're going to be cold. Stagger it, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven, eight. Wait a second. Okay. Uh, oh, is it good? Okay. Oh, they're already, they're already doing it. <laughs> There. Something like that. Eventually, I would like to have enough to just have it... Oh god, is it melting already? It's getting really, really hot. Oh god, it's gonna melt. Come on. Oh my god, it's getting so close to melting. I should have put them close together. That, that Maybe this was a mistake. I should have put them close together. Oh, it's holding. It's holding at 28.6, 28.7. The more we get, the more and the faster we get these things built, these are all priority one and they're building it. <laughs> so the faster I get these things built, the the uh, the more temperature control this space will be. Look, already all the sleep, it's already ready to go. 
This one's probably gonna fail. This is the first one that went up. But as long as we get the other ones built super fast, we should be okay. It doesn't help that the dupes are all in here. Putting all this heat out. Ooh, 29 degrees. Oh god, slow down. 30 degrees. Please stop. Ah. Oh, it's cooling. <laughs> it's cooling. <laughs> oh my god. Hurry, hurry, hurry. How are these guys? These guys, it's warmer up here, actually. I'd be surprised if these survive at all. Uh, what's up, crazy? Hiccup. Godzilla 2021 and oh, Mothra God. Godzilla. 2021. You came up here talking about Godzilla. The dupes are actually uh, doing more damage to, to this than anything else. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, Moth, what do you say? Say it again. Godzilla 2021 and Godzilla and Mothra 2021. That's that's not announced yet. That's probably, is that a fan? That's a fan movie, right? Fan, mov fan movie script or something? I don't know. Are you looking on that fan site? Yeah, what's the name of it? Oh, that's the name of the thing. Yeah, but what's the name? Are you looking at a site? It's, a real movie. it's not a real movie. It's not 2021 yet. The only other Godzilla movie that's coming right now is Godzilla vs. Kong. That's the only one that is for sure coming. Yeah. Which month is it coming? Well, right now we don't know because nobody could go to the movie theater right now. You know why, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. That's right, we're gonna watch it at home if we have to, that's right, if we can. Okay, so it looks like this actually is working. I would like to see more. I would like if the dupes would fucking stop. <laughs> okay. As long as this room just stays contained, we shouldn't have any issue. Oh, I guess they, have to, they still have to deliver food. Yeah, it's, okay, that's true. They still have to deliver their stuff. God, can we, can we get them, like, cooler air or something inside of those suits to not, so they're not putting out so much damn heat? <laughs> damn. Okay, now what? Irrigation is a problem. That's fine. That's fine. I could deal with irrigation. Matter of fact, I could probably bypass that right now. I could turn this off. Will it, uh... Yeah, there we go. Just pump pump some of it in. Pump some water in. And then I'll, and then I'll set it back up again. This water's coming through at 50 degrees. The pipes themselves are being cooled as well. That's good. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's hot, it's hot water, right? At 50 degrees. As long as the temp shift plates win, it's all that matters. It's holding steady. Oh, it's warming up just a little bit. Is it hot near the suit station? I'm sure it is. It's hot everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna change this back to water. Actually, it, sh it shouldn't shouldn't have triggered that. Actually, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Emergency! 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 Oh emergency. god, is it Godzilla related? Godzilla yep. vs. Kong is coming out in May 28th. Wait, Godzilla vs. Kong, May 28th? Oh, I can tell you that's probably not that's not gonna happen, dude. How do I tell him that's not gonna happen? Let me look and see. Let me look. Mm. Oh my god, my friend's trying to get me to play Bullet Storm. What the fuck? Let me see. IMDB. Godzilla vs. Kong. Yeah, so it's warm here. Oh my god. How many pop-ups does IMDB have now? Let's see. Who's that? Shazer! Have my Samsung. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you fell from my from my trap. Hey, Shazer. Hey man, you know what? I was uh uh I was uh flipping through Reddit. And uh I, you know, I think I think I have you out as a friend on Reddit, so it was highlighted in like red, bright red. And I was just like, who the fuck is this? And I was like, oh shit. It's Shazer! Caught you in LSF. <laughs> but yeah, no, I thought it was pretty funty. Um It was we were commenting on the uh, the deer situation. That's what it was. Let me see. Godzilla vs. Kong release date, uh November 20th, 2020. I don't know where he's gonna zip from, man. What the hell? I started... No, I, I didn't look through your history or anything. I, I probably should have, actually. I was, I was you know, I, I, I just saw your name there. And I was like, oh shit, it's Shazer. I didn't realize that we were friends on Reddit. All right, back in the MLB days. Oh, probably. MBL. <laughs> MLB, yes. <laughs> the Major League Baseball days, you know. <sighs> back when we were doing that. This is a lot, this is a lot of uh, hydrogen building up here for some reason. Hmm. 
Okay, so do we have our power issue resolved? Well, water is starting to fill up again. That's good. This thing's made out of igneous rock, which is just dumb. Uh, we have insulation here, so this is cooling off finally. Okay, so we, we squashed a couple of issues pretty quickly here. Uh, this is pumping in. That's great. You can actually see the motion here, the movement. So we are getting um, something happening here with the, uh, the liquid from all fronts. So whether it's being pumped up here and dropping down, uh, which I believe is helping, uh, or, or just, you know, just uh, the the cool water that we're slowly adding slowly adding to the mix here. Look at that, just flowing over there. It won't end well. Yeah, there's there's a lot of theories and shit all over the place for that. I just I don't know, man. I got nothing to add. Honestly, what is this? Why? Body temperature? <gasps> what the? F what? Why is the oxygen gone from here? Why are we not pumping? Why, what, what, why are we not pumping anything in there? It's a vacuum up here again. So something is. Oh, you know why? Because we're probably taking too much water from this. Yep. We're taking too much water from this. Well, I mean, the, we had to cool the steam somehow, so I think the solution of grabbing the water from the bottom and pulling up here is probably better than the solution I came up with. So this is an easy fix, thankfully. Ta-da! Who's breathing all the air? I know, all these mouth breathers! There we go. That'll solve that problem. It'll just take time. Uh, thankfully, they still have a good amount of food. Jesus Christ. Wow, we had like 300-something thousand. <laughs> now we're already down to that. That's a yikes. But we do have enough food. I mean, pinch of pepper nuts are going pretty well. We could use some more shit water here, which would be great, but we don't really have any, any... I mean, I would say we don't have a system to pull some up, but Jesus Christ, we have a whole bunch down here we could, uh, work with. Maybe we should just pump this out of here and take it straight into... Oh, huh, look at that. Actually, it's not going anywhere. Huh. This would be good. Take all this natural gas, dirty water, and just filter it right into this. This water is getting backed up again. As long as it doesn't get backed up here, we're fine. Yeah. The piping is, and that's another thing that we have to basically redo. Like, we, we, I, I want to squash everything so that way, you know, we're, we're solid. Like, nothing is gonna, I just want to get to the point to where it's, um, not falling apart here, you know? Like, I already see one way to get more shit water into the system, but it would require dumping the, we'll go up here, let it go down, and then drip it here, which is fine, but... We wouldn't necessarily be pulling in that liquid to be used for the pinch of pepper nuts anytime soon. If it goes through here, uh, this, that's for salt water. Is this all dirty water? You know what? This is all polluted water, so I don't think I have to worry about getting anything else in this system over here. I just need to get stuff to that system. <clears throat> we could do I mean, this is a quick, dirty way, but this will work. Just basically splice it in. Like this. And then pull this down here. And then connect this guy here. And then just snippy snip. And that guy there. That'll do it. That'll give it more than it more more polluted water than it needs. Cool. Speaking of, uh I don't know, something. Um, but oh god damn, why did that have to break? Ugh, that's so annoying. There's just no good way to get there and fix that. I have to break this tile. This is the best way to do it. I think break this tile or uproot this, right? So yeah, I'll probably break this tile. Just uh, deconstruct that guy. And then get that thing fixed and then we'll go from there. Man, how's the rest of the base doing on oxygen? Oh, oxygen's fine. Just, just the vacuum in here. Haha, <laughs> what up, Sentex? Occupy. Does that pipe on the left go somewhere? Oh, let's see. Uh, I'd assume that it comes from, uh, yeah, it comes from down here. Which is where there's more, uh, crap water building up. But that's disabled. I wonder what's, uh, what's disabling that? Oh, cause yeah, it just turns on whenever it gets full of water. Which takes a long ass time, so that's not gonna happen anytime soon. But yeah, it's, it's coming from there, so that, that'll that feed that as well. Boom! Boom! What is that? Draven! Oh, man! Oh, damn, you got... Shazer. <laughs> you got Corona in a can. How timely. 
<laughs> hey, Draven, thank you so much. Hooking up all these folks. Appreciate that. I'm guess I guess you got paid. <laughs> Is that what you said with the last night or something? Thank you. Oh look, here we go. Here we go. So we're feeding water. We should get uh, irrigation to all of these. All of these should get irrigation, damn it. To make up for the gift for me last night. Hey man, thank you. Oops. I dropped something. Uh but thank you so much. The BFF report needs to come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's just a chore. Oh, I see what's happening. The uh so the pipe going through, which is kind of a no-no, but uh I, mean, I, th I don't know why I set this up this way, but it's kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's working the way it's supposed to, but the problem is over here, it's feeding liquid in this direction and it should be feeding out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I still need this water to go through the system. No, I don't. Let's just cut it. Yes, babe. Hi. Hi. Are you I am. Why? What's up? Oh, so you, you have an employee now. <laughs> yes. Remote training. Google Classroom. <laughs> That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Chen's been having an interview after interview after interview, like nonstop. And they finally found somebody that uh, that'll work for him. So good. But the training process is going to be even harder. Because that requires like every single day working with somebody, you know? All day. So she's going to be basically just strapped to their computer all day, every day. Alright, so now we have irrigation going everywhere. Although there is some um, some clean water in here somewhere. Yeah, some clean water. So let me see if we could empty the storage here. Get that emptied out and that'll probably help. Yeah, 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 Victor. There's something I'm looking for here. And in here as well, actually. Wow. It's quite a bit. And then water. We've got a lot of clean water in this mix. In here as well. Empty that. And then, wow. You know what? Yeah, it's probably because of that direction it was coming from. And then this is regular polluted water. Cool, cool. So they'll, they'll get around to getting all these things emptied. Oh, no, they won't. <laughs> oh, no, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the piping. Yeah, the piping is fine. No, the, uh, the, okay, cool. That's good. Everything's nine. You guys know how we roll here? Okay, so this pitcher pump is broken. Probably go ahead and and uh, and just enable repair. I mean, I, I, I'm surprised that Igneous Rock broke down. I, I figured it had a higher overheat points. 194. Wow. I figured it was higher than that. Maybe we should deconstruct and build a new one. No Tuesday drinks. No. Oh. You're talking about that shit. Uh, we were talking about that with Shizzle last night. Any for breakfast and BFF. What what what? what are you guys talking shit? What are you guys saying? Let me see. Uh, I was gonna grab a pitcher pump. Let's make it out of something that, uh, oh yeah, I guess it does, Igneous Rock doesn't have an overheat temperature boost or anything. So we'll just do it with, uh, eh, granite. We have lots of that. Step this up one notch, maybe? Nah, I'll bring it down. That's all clean water if I do it there. Does this thing still have algae in it? Boom, baby. It does have algae in it. Huh, 10 keys of algae, actually. We don't have any fish or anything. Let's deconstruct that, get, reclaim that algae. Who's that? Jai Rule! Is this the Asteroid Survival Training Online course? Yes, it is. In the event that you ever find yourself uh, trapped on an asteroid, <laughs> in the center of an asteroid somehow. She just said you guys don't play because you became a normal pleb. Aww. I'm sure you didn't say it quite, quite so nicely. <laughs> no, the reason why we stopped playing games is because Shizzle streams like in South Korea time. 